Baghdad U.S. backed Iraqi security forces on Sunday began a multi pronged military operation to retake the town of Talafar, west of Mosul, from the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria ISIS. Iraq's prime minister announced that Talafar and the surrounding area is one of the last pockets of ISIS held territory in Iraq after victory was declared in July in Mosul, the country's second largest city. The town, about 150 kilometers 93 miles east of the Syrian border, sits along a major road that was once a key supply route. The city of Talafar will be liberated and will join all the liberated cities, Prime Minister Haider al Abadi said in a televised speech to the nation broadcast on state television early Sunday. He was dressed in a black uniform of the type worn by Iraqi special forces. Al Abadi said his message to ISIS was you either surrender or die. By early afternoon, Lt. Gen. Abdullah Mir Rashid Yirala, who commands the operation, said the forces had recaptured five villages east of town. In a statement, the U.S. led coalition praised the Iraqi security forces as a capable, formidable, and increasingly professional force, and they are well prepared to deliver another defeat to ISIS and Talafar like in Mosul. Mosul was a decisive victory for the Iraqi security forces, but it did not mark the end of ISIS in Iraq or its worldwide threat," said U.S. Army Lt. Gen. Stephen Townsend, the commander of U.S. and coalition forces in Iraq and Syria. The coalition estimates that approximately 10,0005,0000 civilians remain in and around Talafar. Along with Talafar, his militants are still fully in control of the town of Hawija west of Kirkuk, as well as the towns of Qaim. Rawa and Anna in western Iraq near the Syrian border. Talafar has been a stronghold for extremists in Iraq since the 2003 U.S. led invasion that toppled Saddam Hussein. Many senior leaders al Qaeda in Iraq and ISIS were from Talafar. Iraq's mostly Shiite militiamen largely stayed out of the operation to retake Mosul, a mostly Sunni city about 80 kilometers 50 miles to the east, but have vowed to play a bigger role in the battle for Talafar which was home to both Sunni and Shiite Turkmen before it fell to ISIS, a Sunni extremist group. The militias captured Talafar's airport, on the outskirts of the town, last year. Their participation in the coming offensive could heighten sectarian and regional tensions. The town's ethnic Turkmen community maintained close ties to neighboring Turkey. Turkish officials have expressed concern that once territory is liberated from ISIS, Iraqi Kurdish or Shiite forces may push out Sunni Arabs or ethnic Turkmen. A stepped up campaign of airstrikes and a troop buildup has already forced tens of thousands to flee Talafar, threatening to compound a humanitarian crisis sparked by the Mosul operation. Some 49,000 people have fled the Talafar district since April, according to the United Nations. Nearly a million people remain displaced by the nine-month campaign to retake Mosul.